Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about an incident involving two gangs from Pomona, California. The Pomona 12th Street Sharkies Gang and Pomona Michoacan Rifa, both who are rival gangs. Sometime after midnight on May 12th, 1990, two carloads of use pulled into a parking lot of discount liquor in Pomona. The use shouted slurs and 12th Street gang slogans and made gang signs with their hands. The victim, Jesse Jimenez, and a female companion had just completed a purchase inside the store. Jimenez left the store, but immediately ran back inside when the youth threw beer cans at him and started chasing him. A group of young men included Gabriel Mendez, Ramon, Magana, Richard Ortega, who belonged to the 12th Street Gang. Jesse had family who belonged to a gang called Pomona Michoacan Rifa, a rival gang to both the 12th Street Gang and Pomona Sur Gangs. Also involved, Ricardo Valles and co-defendants Alberto Valles and Victor Cadillo, who belonged to the Pomona Sur Gang. The youths, including Gabriel Mendez, followed Jimenez inside the store and started chasing him, beating him, and kicking him. Jimenez hid behind the cashier's counter. The youths grabbed merchandise off the shelves and threw beer cans, six packs of beer, and other items at Jimenez as he laid on the floor, curled in a fetal position. One of the youths yelled 12 in Spanish, and another made a gang sign. Ricardo Valles pulled out a gun, leaned over the counter, and prepared to fire the gun at Jimenez. However, the gun jammed, and Magana came from behind the counter, pushed Ricardo Valles, and said, Let's get out of here now. Valles resisted, responding, Get out of here and get away. Valles then unjammed the gun and fired it into the temple of Jimenez's head. Jimenez died a few days later. Gabriel Mendez and the other gang members involved, except for Valles, entered into negotiated pleas of guilty or no contest. Mendez pleaded no contest to second-degree murder and admitted the allegation a principal was armed with a firearm. Before sentencing Mendez, the trial court read into the record a letter Mendez admitted writing to Ralph stating, As you probably know by now that I got 15 to life, but I don't sweat it as long as I know I am alive and that Vato is dead. It is not clear what the outcome was for the young gang members, but one thing for sure, they all received lengthy prison sentences as it was caught on camera footage from the incident and was later broadcasted on Fox 11 Undercover News. What was clear was that the fact is 12th Street Sharkies gang member Gabriel Mendez was sentenced to 15 years to life for second degree murder.